It is time to move into phase one of our shed project. And I'm wearing a mask because it's basically like a hantavirus hazmat zone in there. This Hi team, I'm Sid. And I'm Mackie. For the past six years, we've been racing mountain bikes professionally. And living out of our van. On this channel, we're sharing those adventures with you. All of them. So hit subscribe and join the team. For the past few weeks, our van has been parked in Mackie's parents' driveway, which is where we'll stay until it's safe to get back on the road. Last week, we announced our quarantine project, remodel this rodent-infested shed and turn it into our dream bike workshop. Today, we'll find out if our vision is even possible. Okay, everybody, it is time to move into phase one of our shed project, and that is getting everything that is in here out. Um, as you saw in our last video, if you haven't watched that yet, go check that one out. We moved out all the stuff that belongs to Mackie's family. All their camping gear was in here and it was kind of in rough shape with all the mice. So we put all that in the basement, which I think will be a better place for it. And now the exception of a couple things in here, like the skis, the rest of this is our stuff. So today we're pulling it all out so that we can start on the fun stuff. Oh, and I'm wearing a mask because it's basically like a hantavirus hazmat zone in there. This probably won't help, but it probably will help my allergies. way better in here. Ooh, yeah. Here, Lily, come here. Come here and eat some mice. Come here. All right, Lily, can you eat some mice for us, please? Come on. It's like, now that I'm no. allowed in here, I don't want to be here <laughs> The package, it might be the bags for the shop back. What is it? It's not the bags for the shop back. Oh, no, it isn't, but, oh, uh, I bet my dad did. Nice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, this is gonna go in the main house first because we literally had a mouse r running around on the stove yesterday. Yep. So that's pretty exciting. Mm. Ready to trap some mice. Yeah, bye bye mice because this one is useless right here. Yeah. See, useless. Ineffective mouse trap. <laughs> Effective mouse trap. Ineffective mouse trap. All right, phase two. It is time to vacuum. It's looking pretty good in here. So the vacuum stopped working and I'm a bit concerned it is because I sucked up dead mouse. I don't think it's a mouse, but it's something else. So it didn't seem to be a mouse. Um, it was just like a gray turd-like thing. So I don't know if that's better or worse. We remove all these shelves, all these other organizational things so that we can basically start from scratch here. Mackie to come up and do the last couple screws because they're really in there. I'm pretty sure whoever built this shelf used as many screws as like some carpenters would use in an entire house. <laughs> the whole thing is extremely overbuilt. This, this is OSHA approved. <laughs> gonna call it there for today super pleased we'll pick back up tomorrow but give you an idea of what it's looking like right now 
bare walls. <laughs> I couldn't get those pegs out, so we'll worry about that tomorrow. In general, emptying this shit out is gonna give us such a better idea of the space that we actually have to work with and how we can expand that space to make it what we're hoping for. So it is time for a break. It is 5 p.m., workday is over. Time to go chill out for a bit and make some dinner. So dinner could actually be a little tricky. At this point, it's been pretty much two weeks since we went to a grocery store. The uh, fridge is looking a little bare. I'd say it's been two weeks because of Corona, but I think part of it is that we're lazy. We defrosted a package of chicken Italian sausages and we're gonna see what we can find in the pantry. Artichokes, Ooh, beans, and pasta. Boom, we are set. I'm gonna make a kale and white bean pasta. Ooh, yum. Chicken sausage that we're gonna throw on the grill. Got some heavily salted pasta water. Oh yeah, pasta, pasta. Gonna start with a couple cloves of garlic. All right, got our garlic going. Let me add these, it's gonna be exciting. Some artichokes. Add some salt and pepper, artichokes garlic, better test our pasta. And all our beans. And then we add an absurd amount of kale. Right. So we're gonna add this pasta into here Oop. with a little bit of this reserved pasta juice. Hopefully cook down into a nice sauce. Add a little chunk of butter. And we are, we are basically there. So is done. Reinforcements. Strong men <laughs> to move a big cabinet. This thing is heavy. Yeah, lighter without doors. <laughs> I'm scared of what's gonna be behind it. How are you going to put it down without crushing your fingers? Well done. This is our shed. Check it out. It is empty. Yeah, you can sort of Thanks. see how big it is. You can also kind of see how the rodents have been getting in. Yeah. Not very airtight. Well, yeah, the place that really shows me is 
down here. Oh look, large holes yeah, so that you could easily fit through if you were a mouse or a chipmunk. We don't have a lot of experience with construction. I would say overall, we, especially Mackie, pretty handy. I helped build the shed, actually. Yeah, Mackie actually. helped build the shed. Yeah. We're more good at like slapping things together that function yeah. than creating like a nice space. Yes. So we're going to make a phone call. We're going to call my dad. He built my parents' house in the 70s. He worked in construction. So we're going to kind of get his idea on what is possible. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Good, how about yourself? Good. Do you want to hop on WhatsApp so I can show you what we're working with here? Or sure. describe sure. it? The wall goes across like this. There's my dad. Hey, Robert. <laughs> Hi. And then there are this beam. Obviously, there's corner beam, center beam with the long one across. My dad seems to approve of the plan, which is very exciting. We're trying to convince him to come help us. I'm not really sure that's feasible right now, so we'll see if he shows up in future videos or not. But pretty cool to see it like this. It feels a little bit like a blank slate. Currently, the shed measures 10 by 16 feet, giving us 160 square feet. By bumping out the wall, we'll have 215 square feet to work with. This will give us space to hang up to 10 bikes, build a workbench, and still have room to store all of our spare parts. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss next week's video, where we'll start tearing down this wall. In the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome.